up close on a plane crash. The Yak-52 smashed into a hazelnut tree about four miles from its intended destination. The plane had some sort of engine trouble. The pilot, 88-year-old Gennaro Bill Avolio, is one of the pilots connected to the Aviation Museum. It appears he may have been trying to land in a field before the crash. From Sky 8 yesterday, you can see Ovolio being taken to a life flight helicopter. His passenger was taken by ground ambulance, both with serious injuries. Well, the investigation isn't finished, but what witnesses are saying happened is a plane was coming in and actually clipped those fir trees the left wing did, and that brought the plane down into the hazelnut grove. Here you can see part of that wing is completely missing. You can see the bark knocked off where it hit and ripped the wing off. Joe Van Dyke saw the plane sputter in and clip the fir trees before crashing in his hazelnut orchard. He and his son-in-law were first to the plane and the injured men. I didn't know what I was going to see. I knew it wasn't going to be pretty, but when I got there and the, I guess it'd be the passenger, you know what I mean? He was, he was moving, so I knew he was alive. The plane, a crumpled, complete loss. Van Dyke will never forget seeing how it got here. Then it went down and it made a loud crash. And I didn't think there would be any survivors, but uh, thank God so far, we don't know yet, but I hope they make it. Look around this open field in Hillsboro and you'll see dead birds on the ground. We found about 20 European starlings and red-winged blackbirds in one corner off West Union Road. These pictures may be even tougher for you to see. A bald eagle and red-tailed hawk also found dead in the same field earlier this week. The man who spotted them works nearby. He saw the eagle first and called wildlife officials. The birds, large and small, are being tested now to see what what killed them. To find you know, a large group of dead birds and multi-species like this is certainly something uh, that uh, piques our concern. The Audubon Society's Bob Salinger is not connected to the case, but he did share his general concerns about a bird kill like this. But uh, the things we do think about are, are poisons and, and toxins in these kinds of situations. Uh, that can be an intentional poisoning situation. That can be uh, something that they got into uh, that was unintentional. Occasionally, power lines or transformers can be a problem. A PGE wildlife biologist was out checking today. He told us the system is bird safe with covers and insulated connector lines. It seems the more likely possibility is the small birds ate something toxic and the larger birds fed on them. <laughs> you can hear Hartley Anderson's mother as Ryan Burge came in to face the judge. He was cuffed and wearing a suicide smock. The gallery was full of family and friends, most wearing Justice for Hartley t-shirts. Burge is accused of a horrendous crime, the murder of a five-year-old girl who he was supposed to be caring for. I was really hard um, because she's just so little and I just don't know how you could put your hands on a little girl like that. <laughs> Hartley died of severe head trauma. The prosecutor described the alleged attack as very violent, saying it damaged walls in the Vancouver apartment where Hartley was found on Friday. And emotions flared in the courtroom. Oh, Burge is a convicted felon. He spent six years in prison for setting his Longview duplex on fire with others next door in 2007, trying to collect insurance money. Family says Hartley's grieving mother didn't know about that and trusted him to watch her daughter. Today, they're remembering a sweet young girl. She never wanted to be alone, always wanted to ride her tricycle and do things with her brothers. And trying to make sense of losing her. We want answers and it is justice. It's absolutely disgusting that he did such a thing to my niece and took her from all of us. He was so full of life. I mean, I, I'll never get to see her graduate from high school or be married or anything. He took that from us. He took the joy we had with her away.